How much, Jeremy? How much? Does Norm want to play? Phil. Six thousand. I think so. Phil, I'm all in. And just call. Just call and call. It makes sense. He said call. I heard say call. He has. I have the best hand for sure. But I'm just gonna let it go. John Am I? Sick What's going on guys? Join your one aka Chicago Joey here and today we're gonna do something a little bit different and I'm gonna let my cousin Timmy who specializes in two car Pokemon Omaha aka Noam and Hold'em down at the Venetian here playing the one two and the two five games I'm gonna let him do this video because Phil Helmy Jr. is his favorite player of all time and he's been really wanting to make some content so Timmy take it away buddy Hi it's me Timmy aka Timmy Poker Warrior you might know me from the comment section on YouTube, Instagram, and Twitter, trying to teach you dogs how to play hands properly. A lot of people have been asking me and saying, Timmy, when are you going to go over some hands? So I'm here today with my first video called Timmy's Poker Hands. Today, we're going to be looking at a hand by my favorite poker player in the history of the game and the greatest poker player of all time, Bill Helmuth Jr. Now this hand struck my attention because I think we might have saw an angle shoot go down here by Jean Robert Belland in addition to what just might be the worst call in the history of the game. Before we get to the hand, I want to congratulate Phil Helmuth for his commercial with the company Nike and they developed an ad for poker. It's a great story, very inspiring and very emotional and I want everybody to check it out. I'm all in. If people say your dreams are crazy. That's why I'm the best holding player in the world by far. If they laugh at what you think you can do. You guys are outclassed. You don't belong in this level, Phil. Good. Stay that way. Because what non-believers fail to understand is that calling a dream crazy is not an insult. It's a compliment. Believe in something even if it means sacrificing everything. Yeah, that's more like it. So don't ask if your dreams are crazy. Ask if they're crazy enough. that commercial I went and lost three volumes at the Venetian oh my god I play so well there but I run so bad it's so sick all right donks let's get into this hand and let's take a look at how a master plays pocket aces yeah but that way he'll be nice and tired come over here I just don't feel like any 400 here easy first up cheat or Justin what are you talking about <laughs> tomorrow no, if somebody... No, no, we're not sure. Don't worry about that. Well, no, we have another player anyways. Oh, yeah? Yeah. This fucking ass. No, no, I'm talking all. about Marchi. Uh, Damn it, get getting frisky Marchi. with a king do suited late, and Helmuth is, oh, is trapping but, uh, with aces on the button. What do you have? Yeah, yeah, no. Yes, it will be aces. Ballant. If he wants to play. Three oh, bets oh, it with oh, ace jack. Tomorrow, I love Norm. You know, I, I, I don't know him. I've How met much, Jeremy? How much? Does Norm want to play? Phil. I think so. Phil, I'm all so oh, you're bringing no. Norm McDonald in again? I was going to win this hand. Is this action or not? I guess he's saving me money. All right, so here we see my man, Randall Emmett Power. Shout out, Power raises King Deuce Diamonds. I like that hand. Makes a flush. You know me. I like flushes. Phil Hillmuth with a nice, smooth call. I'm not sure why I'm still holding the Jack Daniels, but I mean, I need, might need a drink. Oh, my God. Who's in for 1,000 if you... Tastes good. Bill Helmuth by Uga. He's got pocket aces just called. I like it. Last hand before the night ends. You don't want to lose a big pot with aces. Then Jean Robert Ballon. This guy's got ace jack all suit. Decides to three bet. I don't know about that play. I like just calling ace jack. I want to see a flop. You know, I don't want to get re raised or anything like that. And then it gets back to my man Phil Helmuth. And he decides, and this is probably my favorite play. He goes all in because I like that one. Yeah, you know, it might be a little deep stack. Sure, you know, the blind, the raise was, what, four or 5,000? He shows it all in for, for 116,000. I mean, it seems a little crazy on paper to get value, but I, I'm a little scared. I don't want my aces to get cracked. You know, I don't know. Maybe this action player, Jean-Robert Ballon, he makes a bad call. I love the shove. I think it's the best way to ensure you not only get max value from your hand, but you don't get bad beat. And I don't like getting bad beat with aces. None of y'all out there like getting bad beat with aces, too. <laughs> <laughs> now let's take a look at the theatrics that ensue from here. Oh my gosh, I just see it right now. I've already, the video is already played in my head. 
You're gonna show me ten freaking high. Uh huh. But why would you want to steam me with one hand left in the night? I have the best hand. I have the best hand. No, no, you don't. How much balls did it take for you to put that money in with that hand? Not much. Yeah. How much is it? A lot. Right now, I want to channel my inner Eddie Ting and just make the call. Channel my inner Eddie Ting and just make the call. Eddie always calls in this spot. Channel inner Eddie Ting. My inner Eddie Ting and just call. Just call and call. Makes sense. He said call. I heard say call. This will be. I wish that. I wish that for the tournament director would make that ruling. So I would say. Well, I. I thought I was just. Negotiating and talking. Oh, he's very careful. Look at them. No, but I wish I wish he would just call me out on it and just say, Thank "Hey, you, you know what? You said call. I got to put the chips in. Sorry." <laughs> and then Ted and then Phil would just walk around the table and call up. Want to wager? Kathy. Oh. Kathy, look oh. out! Look what they look you what they call this. me with Kathy. Oh Kathy God. is Phil's wife. This is so painful. For sure. Who probably doesn't have Poker Go out at Burning Man, where she's. <laughs> How much, is it, how much is it exactly? But if she did, oh, yeah. she'd be thrilled with this possible scenario. And by the way, if I lose the flip, I'm it's still I'm still only stuck a little bit. It's like 118. Yeah, if I lose, I'm only stuck 50. Do it for poker go. <laughs> stop. I can't take it. I, I won't be oh able to God. look at this face. <laughs> oh my God. I won't be able to see this face. Oh one more. If you lose this uh, one. Did, did you see Robert just texting me? I'm in for half. <laughs> what did he say? He's just Robert just, Robert just whispered, I'm in for half. No. No! <laughs> 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 Robert, you're going to I didn't say I'm going to be sick. I'll go in for 20. Oh, my God. Dude, this is awesome. Hey. Phil. Oh, my God. Remember, remember that I gave you this one, buddy. <laughs> remember that I what? gave you this one. What? Oh no, I want to see. I want to see. Dude, he has. I have the best hand for sure. But I'm just gonna let it go. Jean Am Robert. I? Oh, no. <laughs> oh my God! Jr. Sicko. All right, I had to throw Timmy out of the room for this one, but on a more serious note, one, I'm not sure if this is uh, very advanced live pro talking or if this is part of the, the strategy Jeremy uses when he plays in Ivy's room to talk to players. I mean, to me, I could see how this might be in some sort of angle shoot, trying to get a reaction from Phil, maybe against a weaker player if you're repetitively saying call, 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 or if you're saying, all right, I'm going to lay this one down. A lot of times your opponent's going to give off some sort of tell and I think I might use some of this when I go play live poker too because they seem like they probably are, are going to work out very well. And I'm not sure if that's what Jeremy's intention is, but I know he plays enough high stakes to be aware and understand what exactly some of the speech play is going to do or what, what it could potentially do. Now in this situation, Phil's staying pretty stoic. You might not be able to really get anything from Phil in this situation, but I don't know. Is this an angle shoot right here? If, because I think if we have someone at the table that says, hey, you said fold, then all of a sudden this hand's going to go differently. And then we might have a situation take place similar to something on live at the bike. But because it is a game where it is a very friendly game, a lot of the players seem to uh, play with each other, know each other. JRB seems to be the guy leading the game. I don't think we're going to see a situation like that. And maybe he's able to get away with certain things that other players might not be able to get away with. But I'm very curious to see what you guys think, because I think if this was a different player and someone else at the table did say something, this would have just gone a little bit differently. And if Phil didn't have aces here, if he did have 10 high, I cannot imagine how he would have reacted to this situation. So You're such a sicko! Oh this is so painful. God, the hand was like turning over in the muck. And he pumps. I'm going to let it go. No, that's not this That's called that's call a banner pump fake. Oh. Dude. Lala. This is I don't have much of a hand, but I know it's, I got the best hand. Of the flying Walendas. And. Walking the tightrope here. And then. Good TV. I also have to consider if Robo will fire what? me or this not. That's TV. the other oh, thing yeah. I got to consider. It's so funny. Oh my god. 110,000 lemmings at the cliff's edge. So your life will be completely miserable. <laughs> if fired, huh? mm. How much is it? 111 <laughs> plus the blind. Plus the blind? What? 
Sorry, I just can't reach that far. I just want to see blood. Oh, plus the box. Oh, plus the box. Yes. Yes. Oh, I. And not my own for once. I don't want people to be talking about how much I lost. Channel I your inner editing. Yeah. Come on. Channel your inner editing. Editing would call. Wow, he's channeling his inner Vanderpump right now. He just said, "Come on, big hand." You have to watch. Sorry, guys. I'm not. I'm really. I'm really. Like, I'm not. I, I know you guys think that I'm afraid. We this all is were an just talking fold, about you. It's not. Here, baby, because I know I have hand. the best hand. So second to last hand of the night. Sorry, Robert. I hope I'm not annoying you too Phil much. Phil all in for No, no. I think you're doing exactly what you need to be doing. Good. Phil went in all in for 122,000. And now Jeremy is about to call him, and everybody thinks Phil has seven deuce off, and he's trying to blow up home. And then is. Phil, will you consider it a real dick move if I call right now? Because I'm really like leaning towards calling. But <laughs> since I said I was going to fold, that's a little bit of a dick move. This is the last hand of the night. That's no, one it's one more. One more. No, we have one more. Right but this now. will be a forever known as the last hand of the no. night. No. Oh. Yeah. yeah. No. Right. Right. Right now. Like, oh my God. I want to call, but I just, That's I already so said sick. I folded, so it's a little bit of a dick move. Not that much of a dick move. It's, it's not really, not, yeah, it's, it's not a, a little bit at all. It's not a dick move. You didn't, you didn't muck your car. Not, Robert says it's not a dick move. <laughs> Tell somebody I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me is somehow maintaining a, I'll a, still be a dinner <laughs> stoic even presence. If I lose this pot. You will? I'm not so sure if Phil will be in there. <laughs> you make you know. <laughs> this, this, is, this, is, this, is, this is great drama, though. This no, really there's is. no better. There's no better. Uh -huh. My this suck best, outs. This was is the, the best top I've ever hand. seen in poker. This has now become the top hand. Yeah. One, uh, 100 and. Oh my God. 111. Call. 111,000 plus the block. This is going to be 111,000. Nobody knows. And then I have Phil just mad at me for about. Oh my God! About three weeks. That's priceless. Not pre-flop people. About <laughs> three weeks. Jet, Jet is priceless. One eleven. What? About one eleven. One eleven plus the black. One eleven plus the black. Yes. So it's one fifteen, one sixteen. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Three weeks of being Phil being pissed. This is gonna be. Woo! Oh! oh. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Is it, oh. This is. I have quarter, my. Oh, no. Oh. You have what? Eight? Wait, 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 wait. wait. Do you have ace jack? Aces? Oh. You have All right, so obviously this is an easy fold. What are you doing, dog? Come on. You got to lay this hand down. You only got ace jack. What are you thinking? What are you thinking? This is the tightest player in the world, Phil. Help me with what are you doing? But after this, there was 10 minutes of this hand, and then they talked about something called insurance. I don't know what the hell insurance is. They talked about insurance for about 25 minutes or something like that. Is this what stream poker's coming to? We get a 35 minute hand, they're discussing insurance and all this stuff like that. I don't wanna see insurance. I wanna see the fucking hand played. What's going on with this? But JRB makes the call, oh my God. I mean, what's happening here? How do I get in this game? I crush these guys, you know me. Big Timmy, expert player. Texas Hold'em's my game. I crush these fools, you know me. You know me, I crush these fools. Wanna see what happens. Aces? <clears throat> Backdoor possibilities for Balond as the insurance is expressed as a drawdown from the total pot. To <laughs> 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 oh. All right. Ace Jack uh, draws so dead have, on the turn. Um, hundred. you save the six And. All right, guys, so Phil Helmuth ends up winning this hand, takes it down, and there's a very big takeaway and lesson for people out there, and that is something that we heard JRB talk about in the hand where he said, he's gonna show me the 10 high, or he's seen Phil maybe do something kamikaze like that in the past, but you gotta remember, one, Helmuth started with a shorter stack here, and he's ran that stack up. Two, he sold action on you stake, so there are fans out there watching this live stream who have action in Phil, and he's up a lot of money. So I don't think Phil's ever gonna go crazy with a 10 high with he's got the investors money when they're watching on stream when he booked a big win and it's gonna make it much easier for him to sell that action in the future in similar kind of packages. So that just seems crazy. And the big thing is you gotta remember out there if you're playing at home or if you're, you're in similar situations that just because you've seen a guy 
happen to do it with 10 high in a spot. Like, it's probably not a similar spot. Maybe he did it with 50 big blinds. But this is a guy we've seen play like a very, very tight, tight player for many, many years, Phil Helmy. If he doesn't put in 13 big blinds with Queen sometimes in tournaments, to think that this guy is just going to launch off $100,000 at the end of a session where it's streamed and he doesn't want to look like an idiot doing that in the process as well seems crazy. But... When you're playing your games, you do not want to make these, when you're making a read on a player, you don't want to say, well, I've seen this guy bluff once, but I've seen him show up with the nuts a hundred times. I'm going to make a very, very loose call here. That's it. That's a recipe for disaster. And I think a good example is that when you're facing a big bet on the river against an opponent who you've really only seen play pretty tight, and maybe you've seen him play loose pre-flop, but you've never seen him actually play loose to this degree post-flop and really make a bluff there, you don't want to be calling that opponent because oftentimes he's just going to have the nuts. So you don't want to take information from a, a spot that may be similar, but it's similar in terms of down the street and around the block similarity. You don't want to think, okay, because he was loose here, he's going to be loose right here for this amount of money and base your call on that reasoning right there. That's something that you don't want to do. That's a recipe for disaster. And that's something where if Jeremy was thinking about this more, he would say, all right, like, sure, sometimes he's going to have 10 high, but a lot of times he's going to have aces. He's going to have kings. He's going to have ace king. He's just going to have me in such bad shape that the very few times I'm going to be right and get my money incorrect here. I mean, I'm not, I'm not getting the right price anyway there because that's just so big. And then the times that he has aces, are, I mean, I'm crushed. I get it in 8%. So within the best case scenario for you is you get it in, what, 60-some percent? And the worst case, you get it in 8%. Yeah, man, you, you got to lay it down. And that's a lesson for you guys at home to take away from this. And the theatrics aside and the live pro talking aside, I think actually the table talk is something big to take away from this as well, too, if you like to use table talk in your game. But yeah, man, let me know what you guys think. What you think about the hand? Was this an angle shoot? Obviously, I think everybody out there would have folded too. I don't think that's a debate. Maybe some of you guys wouldn't fold, you'd call. But, um, but yeah, let me know. That's what I got. Peace out. Much love to my man, Timmy, for helping me out in this video. And uh, peace out.